What is going on in the loop fans? It's Drew here at Legoland Florida. It's part of a two-day adventure. Uh, it is currently Wednesday. We are doing Legoland today and tomorrow. But Legoland isn't open today, so we're just kind of uh, staying at the hotel, getting our our hotel creds on, and then uh, tomorrow morning Legoland opens on Tuesday, so we're here. But uh, hello and welcome. Hopefully you enjoy this update of what is going on here at Legoland. I have never spent like a full theme parky kind of day here. I've done I've done the the media events. I've done the show up the last hour and a half to process my pass and ride a couple of things. But tomorrow is going to be a, a Legoland day where we're just gonna gonna vlog, gonna tell you all about the things, all the things we enjoy. So come with us, come join, and see what we like and don't like about Legoland Florida. One thing to note that's kind of strange is uh, definitely adults coming here and. Uh, and no children, so hopefully this isn't too weird. Guess we'll find out. That looks a little hostile. That is a big giraffe. And over here we've got Flight School. It's a Pacoma Junior SLC. It's not really a looping coaster. It's more like a junior suspended coaster. Not very pleasant, but it's still kind of kid adorableness. Perfect for Legoland. Kids get to fly around like that. Pretty adorable. That's one of the four roller coasters here at Legoland. Over here we got driving school where kids get to drive around their own little vehicles and they learn the traffic laws. So you got things like stop signs, field signs, and traffic cones. All that and more here at the driving school. I think it's adorable. Over here is adorable boating school where you get to drive boats around. So it's nice you get to go to school here on all three of the different land, sky, and water. So you get to drive these boats around. It's kind of like the canal boats at uh, Disneyland, something like that. And I think you move them yourself. The Lego City Fire Rescue Academy Kind of interesting right here. So you, you, you bring these trucks up, you actually move the trucks up here, and then you go and you have to uh, put fires out. So you can see up in the window here, there's a fake fire, which so you put the fire up. Everyone fights to put out the fire. You're on different teams. So he, the dad's gotta pump the fire, and then the kids refer to the squirt gun. That's how it works. Once you get your fire back, you run back to your truck. And it's like a race back again. And then you gotta move it back and it's like go, 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 go and you gotta fight to move back. So once again, exercise the ride, but this looks really fun for kids. Like look at them go, they're, they're killing it. All right, over here we got exercise the ride. So you use the cable, you pull yourself up to the top of the tower and you let go and you get to slowly come back down. Looks like a lot of work, looks fun, but I would say it also looks like a lot of work and exercise. And over here we got the Aqua Zone Wave Racer. It's kind of like a whip. So like remember the old school carnival whips put on a water take on this. And you've got a little water cannon here. Push the crab. And it doesn't explode. Ah, I was kind of expecting it to explode, it didn't. But anyway, this ride system is pretty neat. I feel like I just saw it explode, oh well. AquaZone Wave Racer. Everything is awesome. Everything is cool when you're part of the team. They're from the Lego movie. <laughs> Down for refurb break right now is the great Lego Race VR coaster. The Wild Mouse is turning into a VR coaster. And I gotta say, look at these adorable goggles you're gonna be wearing. They aren't like the, uh, the normal VR goggles. They got little Lego heads on them. I think that's adorable. So you're on a Lego race. So I assume that means rideability because the VR is going to change a little bit. But you can see, um, huh? changing along some things here. As the uh, wild mouse, the extended wild mouse, is getting some VR treatment. It looks like a new queue, new entrance, and all of that good stuff. And remember, you like totally don't even stand a chance. These guys look like they're up to no good. Not a bad price, it's $13.99 for refills. 
and you have these refill and refresh stations all over the park. All right, so it wouldn't be me without getting a uh, souvenir cup. What's neat about the Coke Freestyle machines here is while you get free refills all day, it's got this little sensor here. So if I go like this, take the cup away, it won't even let me uh, get a drink until I put it back. So there you go, the cup's there. Gonna get our pay extra. So we're going with Dr. Pepper, and we have unlimited refills until that date right there. So we fill the cup up, get your beverage, and you enjoy. But now if I were to push for more, it doesn't let me because the cup's not there. Fascinating. Up here in the new Ninjago section, this is new for last year, but still kind of the newest section until the great race opens back up, is Ninjago the ride. My boy Ernest from Triotech has made this shooting dark ride, but it's a friendly shooting ride, so there's no guns. And you use like ninja chop motions in order to uh, to shoot your shoot your opponents or shoot the uh, the video screens on that kind of stuff. I gotta say, I couldn't figure out how to do it. I played with the sample at IAPA, but I wrote it here. We did it first thing in the morning, we were the only ones on the ride, and it really nothing happened. So uh, I gotta admit, right now it's a 10 minute wait. I, I would wait 10 minutes for it, but it's got to be a hard pass if it's a long wait because you have no idea what's going on. It, it was so hard to shoot. Uh, kids are going to be confused and frustrated. Uh, talking with other in the loop staffers, it took them two to three rides to be able to uh, actually shoot the uh, the ninja chops. So while this land looks really cool, I got to admit that the ride kind of fell flat for me. Ninja Dragon. Thank you for not feeding the animals. Like that guy. Or that guy. What are these things? They look like creatures that have been uh, riding the Smiler at, uh, at Alton Towers. Maybe this is some brand synergy here, but that definitely looks like some Smiler eyes right there. Yeah, look at that Coasterosaurus. That's what type of dinosaur that is. Up next on our tour is Coaster Saurus. So I move over here, you can see it going. It's hidden in the trees, which is really neat. Um, I will say that the mini Lenium Flyer trains, while Adam House probably worked really hard on it, does not fit two adults comfortably, but neither really did the other trains on here. So uh, if you are two adults, you're probably gonna sit in different rows. So just plan according to that so you don't awkwardly have to hold up your operation to get out and switch seats. You can just do it on your own. But uh, I would say probably my favorite roller coaster here, there's a couple hills with almost airtime. Um, like this one right here. And that guy. Uh, it's fun. It's the only coaster that features the Min Mini Millennium Flyer trains. I will say I wish the ride ran two trains so it had some more of a capacity. But it doesn't, so it always kind of gets long waits. But overall, I would recommend riding it. I think it's cool. More shots of Coasterosaurus. It's coming for you, Adam House. This donkey looks like he's up to no good. What do you think, man? I think your donkey's up to no good. Safari Trek. So you're riding cute little zebra trucks like this, like that guy down there, and you go along the track and you go past Lego animals. I think this is adorable. This might be the most adorable ride here. Does that kid look like he's having fun? Yeah, he does. It's time for the land of adventure. Hello, come ride my shooting duck ride. Up next in our adventure is the Lost Kingdom Adventure. It's a Sally dark ride, it's really good. It's got some shooting elements here, thoroughly enjoy it. And what is not to love about the fact that this ride is a complete walk on. Up next in our tour is the Beetle Bounce. It's like junior dueling frog hoppers. They kind of bounce together, but they kind of don't. They have different patterns, which is kind of weird, but neat. So, junior bouncy frog hoppers.
Up next is the Royal Joust, which uh, if you know anything about the Moose on the Loose at Darien Lake, it's the same concept here. So it's just like the Moose on the Loose, only instead of a moose, you are jousting a horse. That's sweet. Now these look like my type of Lego friends. Yeah, we got any, any beverage in here? Nope, just mulch. Good old monks. This station is really awesome. What's also awesome is the Dragon Roller Coaster. Uh, it is part dark ride, part roller coaster. It's the same kind of like generic uh, Junior Vacoma roller coaster, but it has this cool dark ride segment in front of it, which is awesome. Really like it. Probably the best ride here. I think Coaster Source is a better thrilling coaster, but I would say the Dragon is definitely a great ride, especially with its dark ride aspect. All that good stuff. Here goes the dragon. Hey buddy, you taking a nap? Huh? Sleepy? You taking a nap? He's taking a nap. Kind of sweet here at Legoland. You've got recycling bins and trash cans that are all recycled milk jugs. So that one is made up of 330 recycled milk jugs. Same with the recycling bin, 330 milk jugs. And then you've got the bench over here. 800 milk jugs! Made this bench right here. That's pretty cool. Next up on our tour is the World of Chima Land, home of the Quest for Chi. One thing to note about this area is the whole area of the park opens at 11 rather than 10. So don't come here first, come here a little later. You got a little splash section here for your children in the swamp. You can rest your chi over there. What's up, buddy? How's it going, man? So yeah, so here is the Quest for Chi water ride. That uh, was fun. Did it. I will say uh, it's interesting how some of the water guns work better than others. They don't load you in a, in a group of eight. So like there's eight people for that can fit in a the boat. They don't load all eight. They load much less. And I see their water guns work. So I'm going to back up. Going to get squirted here. But this is the... Uh, all right, and so you can squirt this way, so kids can squirt them, they can squirt you, and it all works out. Duplo Valley. Howdy, folks. Welcome to my farm here in the Duplo Valley. Here's a little splash pond section here for the uh, Duplo Valley. Baby cows are called calves. Cows are red and green colorblind. Interesting. What's this button do? Oh, it makes a moo sound. There's a cow right there. All right, now let's learn about goats. Baby goats are called kids, all right. Goats eat almost everything, even tin cans and cardboard boxes. Fun fact, they also eat your underwear. That's the noise a goat makes. So this ride is adorable, as far as adorable rides go. You have these little tractors that go around this little track on this little farm. So you got little bunnies and rabbits and carrots and chicken. Who doesn't like chicken? And then you ride on little tractors. Can't get much more adorable than this. Look at that. It's chicken fact time. Chicken's related to the T-Rex, really. <laughs> So you know that's the sound a chicken makes? Yeah. Check this out, guys. It's a grand carousel. It's one of those double-decker ones. It's not obviously as grand as the ones at Great America's, but I will say the double-decker carousel is still really fascinating looking. I also find it interesting that they let parents stand next to their kids on this ride. 
Uh, not a lot of parks do that, so good for them. Pretty cool ride. I would personally want to ride in the upstairs horses, because I think upstairs on carousels are better. All right, it's time, friends, for Lego Friends Heart Lake City. Up next on tour is Mia's Riding Adventure. That's Mia right there. I will say, I gotta say, this is probably the most thrilling ride you have here at Legoland. It's one of those Zamperla discos. It's like one of those Zamperla discos. Uh, odd height requirements, so 48 inches, which I guess is standard for all the discos. Just for a, a kid's park, that's a pretty high height requirement. The less a little melt meltdown take place, because the kid wasn't tall enough. There you go. It's getting exciting on Mia's riding adventure. It's good to see this musical fountain is still here. So you uh, stand on the music note. Turn it up! And the microphone starts going up. So I go run over here, and I see the little paw print here. Stand on that. Come on, friends, let's And now rock. the guitar rocks. Sweet, it's a little musical fountain. Running around the flower. Yeah, sing Oh, the along keyboard. With me. Except it squirts at me, so I'm running away. And then we got a heart. Looks like it's gonna turn Mia's drums on. Rock on. Yeah. Turns the drums on. Look at that. Now the bass. You're the butterfly. The star. I'm the star. Alright, good stuff. It's a pretty cool little fountain. It's adorable. And it's shaped like a heart. If you got a service dog, they can poop right here. Ah, uh, typical tourist sleeping on a bench and socks with sandals. Ooh. Adventures at Pirates Club live water ski show, batter four, brick beards, bounty. Gotta say, I actually really liked the adventure. Um, thought it was pretty sweet. It takes place in this stadium over here on the water. I have a highlights video for you, also up on our channel. But I gotta say, really enjoyed it. It was good seeing like the old ski show mixed with Lego characters. Uh, pretty impressive. And I, I would say must-see show. So if you're coming here, definitely gotta check out this guy. It only shows two times a day, uh, so don't miss it. Don't miss it. You'll regret it. Friends, it's time for my favorite part of Lego Land. It's Miniland USA. Got a bunch of different buildings and skyscrapers and Florida landmarks, America landmarks, world landmarks, lots of landmarks here. So let's check out Miniland USA. Starting off our adventure here, we've got the Daytona International Speedway and some cool detail here. So you've got like uh, an FJ Cruiser down here. Like who tries one of those things? But yet they got, somebody here must really like them because they have not one, but two different ones sitting here in the parking lot for that. So that's kind of cool. Um, you've got some sort of accident that took place here because you had an ambulance. Uh, all of the, uh, the tailgaters out in the center of the thing. Especially this one, he's got his flags like, respect our country, all that good stuff. It's really fun. And then you've got all the fans here in the stands watching. And there goes number 44 just racing around the track. It's pretty impressive. All right, now we are here in our nation's capital. We got the White House here. Um, is that Donald Trump? Might be. Might be our president. So you got the White House. 
the uh, Washington Monument. Over there is the Jefferson Memorial. And then you got the uh, World War II Memorial. And the Lincoln Memorial. That's about all I know about history. All right, it's everyone's favorite part of the show. It's the Great Movie Ride? No, it's the Chinese Theater. But right next to it is Madame Tussauds, which just goes to show my exact problem with this Chinese theater and where it's located. It's in this tourist trap crap area of LA. But you got Lego wood written up there in the wood. Hollywood Boulevard. I think it's weird they didn't put any Lego stars on the ground. I would say that's a, that's a missed opportunity. And you've got the amphitheater here, the Hollywood Bowl. That's pretty cool. Excuse me, sir. Can you tell me where I get some pizza? Come on inside and have some of my fresh pizza. All right, let's head into the big shop and see what we can find. Just like I expected, you can find Legos. Well, that's interesting. I wasn't expecting to find this, but it's adult-sized t-shirts for the rides. So like I survived Coaster Saurus here. It's a Coaster Saurus coaster t-shirt. I'm not expecting to find that here. You remember that big giraffe? Well, you can get it on a shirt. And that's what the back looks like. It's kind of neat. It screams legend. Can we talk about how the display mug is me? Andrew. Perfect. Aw, rest in peace island in the sky. What do we find here? If you turn it around, you can bake a Lego minifig. It's awesome. It's awesome. Everything's awesome. On the same awesome shelf here, we've got a Lego alarm clock. That's pretty cool. And I really like this. I was commenting with the on-ride photos that this is what they're missing. They need to sell this picture frame where you can like, you build your picture frame out of Lego. And they have it, and I think that's cool. And as we have reached these characters again, that ends our day here at Legoland Florida Resort. I gotta say, we spent two days here. First day was just hanging out at the hotel, exploring Winter Haven, and then today is going to Legoland. So thank you for watching this video and all of our other videos here on our YouTube channel. Follow us on Facebook, facebook.com slash in the loop podcast. Follow me on Twitter at Drew the Intern. Uh, listen to our podcast, follow us on Instagram. Just follow me on Untapped. Not that we had any beer at Legoland today. We did it at the hotel last night. You can follow it there. Uh, and other than that, we'll see you guys on the Midway.